It's just crazy. We are growing up too fast. I'm going to high school next year. That's so pretty. <laughs> Danielle's the winner. She gets the house when we die. Yes. <laughs> I feel super bad. I'm not ready at all. Thanksgiving shopping has begun. Um, I wanted to make sure to get a turkey early enough that there were lots and I still was only able to get one that was just over 18 pounds, which is okay because we'll hopefully have that one and then a smoked turkey, so. Whoa, super shiny. Well, so, whale, hello there. <laughs> nice. It's got the orange uh, fish inside. spelling for whale. Yeah. <laughs> this is mine. I made it for you. Oh. That's so pretty. It turned out so good. It did turn out pretty good. I love that. Aw, cute. Oh, my Lizzie. Aw, oh, that's so cool. Yes. <laughs> Hello. I feel super bad. I feel so bad. Um, I had a nail appointment today and I totally forgot to set not forgot my I set one alarm and thought I had another alarm set and so when I because I usually will have like multiple alarms set because I went to work so I, like I wake up I'm like oh cool I have a few more minutes to sleep and then go back to sleep and then wake up again but I only set one and I didn't realize and because of that fact I woke up really late and was just like groggy getting ready because I didn't sleep at all like <laughs> I I think it's because I went to take care of Sundance last night. Like I started feeling tired, but I was like, okay, I went to take care of Sundance and I went and it was really cold. And then I came home and got in the warm shower. So I was kind of just like waking myself up more. Anyway, I was super groggy and I was like, oh crap, I have to get ready and set up. And I literally, she's gonna be here in like five minutes. So I texted her and I was like, hey, can I push off the appointment till like noon? And she's like, oh crap, I'm like there. And I was like, ah, I'm not ready at all. I was like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, I can go get lunch or something. And I was like, okay, that would actually be like, great. Like, I'll let you know when I'm almost done. And when I was done setting up, I text her and she's like, honestly, it doesn't work today because she has work at three. And so when I, it got pushed off till tomorrow. I said, I can get you in at any time. I was like, I can get you in at three. I can get you in at like 7 p.m. I was like, I can get you in at any time. I might do it at three though, because Ty is going to be at like Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. So I might do it. I already told her three on my reschedule. I know I'm the worst, but she said anytime works for her. But I also have another nail appointment tomorrow. So I have two tomorrow. I just feel bad though. And I set up everything and it got canceled. So now I feel bad, I feel guilty. Okay, okay, so this is it. Daniel. Oh. I've waited all of my life. <laughs> this is not going to be good for pictures, just so you know. Video? Lots of shadows. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just like move around a little bit. Oh, Danielle, we need a sign to be made to put over top of that right there. What do we do? Okay, so we have some time still till the wedding, but we're trying to figure out what it's going to look like sun-wise, if the temperatures hold up, and if, uh, yeah. <laughs> We have the layout now of what it's going to look like now that we have our yard together, but you can see we still don't have pavers over there. Hopefully tomorrow and the next day they'll work on that. It's getting close. Okay, anything else? If the weather's like this, you're fine with it? Yeah. Okay, so we, you've seen, we've been working on the garage. Do it. Does anybody know what the kids have been up to? Um, school and playing. School and playing. This is what they like to do. Um, I'll show you in a minute what the garage looks like because Stubbsy has been working his butt off and Lane and I have been... What did we do, Lane? We're trying to keep up. Oh yeah, we're trying to keep up today. <laughs> oh, that does look horrible. You are worth it. Yeah, it we. A... Yeah, we need to do something with that. I think we need to try to get that stuff <laughs> off of there. Yeah. Try it. What the crap? I know. Oh, you did it. I'm the king of Camelot. Yay! <laughs> Danielle's the winner. She gets the house when we die.
Yes! <laughs> so then I won't have to do anything to it. <laughs> okay. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> so. Well, Dad was cleaning out the garage. He found the old pickleball stuff. So we're in the backyard, and it's really cold, but we're playing pickleball. First time playing pickleball on our new pickleball court. The kids are all off doing their own thing, and Johnny just got home, and Goliath Games just sent us four of their new games. I think it's time to have a family game night. Kids, hurry, run out there very fast. I have something to show you. It's crazy, it's crazy. What is it? Who wants to have a family game night? Me! We have four brand new games and we're gonna do a fast paced minute to win it style and the winner gets a big prize at the end. I win! I win! I win! I win! Giant prize! All right, the first game we have is called Donut Dash. Everyone has a box of donuts. See, it all has colors. Each one has colors on there. I got green and pink. Ooh. I okay. blue and pink. This is our delivery guy. He's gonna deliver donuts and you guys have to choose what color and stack them on your donut tray. Set a timer for one minute. Go! 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 So Savannah is it's the winner! The winner! Woo! Woo! Head down. Okay. Heads up. Savannah. Oh. Savannah, you oh. are the winner. Whoa. Yes! Yes! This is so many donuts! There's enough for all of us! So Ooh. you guys can all have one! Oh my god! Thanks for sharing this. Let's keep playing. Can we the one trick pony? Oh yes, Matt, can I play with you? Totally. Thank you, Goliath Games, for sending us these and sponsoring this video. So we are looking through old yearbooks from when we were in school. School. When we actually real school, school, not homeschool. I mean, homeschool is real school, but public school. And so we're looking at all our friends and friends and foes, which we didn't really have much foes. So I'm trying to find Asbury right now. <laughs> There's Az. When he was in first grade, now he's a little fourth grader. Okay. But anyways, so um, if any of our friends are from school are watching us, here is we little, miss you. So little, little me. Oh. There's little me. third grader Lizzie. I know. I'm with in her short, grade. short hair. 
And now time for me, so I can find myself. And there's little me. It's like very blurry, but like, oh my god! Look how tiny I was. No wait. I'm gonna be in high school next year. I'm not in seventh grade, am I? You are. I'm gonna be in high school next year. No, I'm, I'm like, not. I can graduate. I'm in sixth grade. No, you're not. You are not in sixth grade. How is that possible then? Because when I was in public school, homeschool mex mex the messes. <laughs> I was in fifth grade. What? I was a fifth grader. I thought he was a fourth grader. I was in fifth grade, guys. Kane's in sixth, <laughs> second grade. I was in fifth grade. I'm in ninth grade. I thought it was eighth grade. Anyways, guys, it's just crazy. We are growing up too fast. I'm going to high school next year. I was in sixth grade next year. Anyways, eighth grade next year. <laughs> crazy, guys. We love you guys so much. And as always, you, you are, are worth it. it. Bye, Bye guys. guys.